Hi, I'm Armand. So, welcome to Mathematics Tutorials. I'm your tutor for today. So, our topic for today is about uh, quadratic equation. So, we have here, find the roots of x squared minus 9x plus 18 equals 0. So, there are lots of ways in solving quadratic equations. One would be factoring by factoring. Second is using the quadratic formula. So, what is the quadratic formula? We have here x as the roots. So, we have negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so right so we will no longer use this formula uh, the technique I'm gonna teach you is a very ancient technique so only a few know about this technique so from the equation we will know that the product of the roots so the product of the roots is equal to 18, right? So, since our first term has a coefficient of 1. So, this is, this is 18 over 1, so 18. So, we have the sum of the roots is, from the equation, we have 9. <laughs> so, now, we're going to focus first on the sum. So, so, we will look at the sum. Sum is 9. So, we will get half of it. So, we will divide the sum into 2. So, we will have 4.5. The other is 4.5. So, this will now represent the two roots. So, we have x1 and x2. So, after this, we will introduce a, a new cons, uh, variable. So, an arbitrary variable. So, any letter of your choosing. So, with the letters... Uh, First letter is a name, the crash, A to Z, no? With the N, with the NG, whatever. So we have, say, I will choose Y. Y. So, uh, dapat alternate in a sign or opposite in a sign. So this one should be positive, the other one should be negative. So you can have this as negative, this one should be positive. So, dapat opposite sign. So, after the sum, we will now look at the product of the root. So, these are the two roots that should have a product of 18, right? So, we will multiply this one, and this should equal to 18. So, we will multiply this using FOIL method. So, first term, outer term, inner term, then last term. So, but as we all know, this is a special case where almost everything is the same except the middle sign, right? So, this will now result into difference of two squares. So this will become 4.5 squared minus y squared. This should all be equal to when multiplied to 18, right? So this is 18. But you can solve this using full methods of so first term, outer term, inner term, last term. You will have the same answer of this one. So simplifying this and solving for y, you will now get y is equal to, so I wait, I will just do a quick mental math. Okay y is equal to positive negative 1.5 okay so whatever we choose here uh, is either positive or negative we will come up with the same two roots no so for similarity we will choose plus so we have x1 is equal to 4.5 plus 1.5 here so we have 6 x2 is equal to 4.5 minus 1.5 so we have 3 so these are your two roots easy right easy peasy no so i hope you learned something here and thank you for watching and special shout out to those to those people who have subscribed already uh, to have to those who constantly share my post and thank you for watching and so, wala pa nakaka-subscribe, subscribe below and click the notification bell for more updates. Thank you!